Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be looking at doing data science for, for e-commerce merchants. It's going to be the first video in a series of videos where we're going to see how we extract data from, from an e-commerce store and use that data to, to optimize the store and, and, and create real value. In this video we're going to be looking at the Shopify API, so we're going to be focusing on Shopify because it's the biggest e-commerce platform out there, and we're going to extract data from, from the, the API and prepare that data for analysis. Um, so if you're someone who's working for a Shopify brand, this is going to be relevant for you. If you are a data scientist or someone working with data or AI interested in, in working with uh, e-commerce merchants, this is also going to be relevant for you. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is you have to set up a Shopify developer account. So in order to do anything on Shopify, you need you need a developer account that will allow you to build applications that live in the Shopify ecosystem. And those applications will allow you to, to pull out data from, from the API. So go up, sign up for Shopify developer by clicking the link up here in the, the top uh, right corner. Right. So once you have a Shopify developer account, you can log in and um, you will be able to set up development stores. Those development stores will allow you to test codes and test different applications that you're developing. So I have a list here of my development stores uh, in, in Shopify. All right, so let's see in, if we can uh, add a store here. Add store, add development store. And let's call it um, Rabbit Testing. All right, so now Shopify is creating our development store. And we're ready. Cool. So now we have a development store called Rabbit Testing. And uh, what we want to do is we want to add an app. And we actually want to add an app called, let's go to Shopify App Store, uh, an app called Simple Sample Data. It's a really cool app that allows us to um, populate our store with products and orders, dummy data, essentially. Um, so let's add this application. Um, and that was called Testing. Rabbit testing. Dot my Shopify dot com. Oh. All right. So now we are about to install simple sample data on Rabbit testing, and we're giving this application permission to edit customers, edit products, edit orders, so on. And that's fine. Just push install application. Here we go. Now the app is installed. Now what we want to do is we want to basically select a theme here. And uh, let's just go with close. And uh, we want to install, or we basically want to populate the store with products, with collections, with customers, and with orders, which is everything really. Um, and once you've ticked off these boxes, you simply say generate data. Yes, generate dummy data. So now uh, our test or rabbit testing is going to be populated with sample data. So sample data has been generated. Let's push OK. So now we have dummy data in our uh, development store. We need to do one more thing. Let's go and push apps here. The next thing we want to do is we want to basically develop a custom app for this development store. So push develop apps and then allow custom app development. Um, and then again, push allow custom app development. So now we can create a custom app for this test store, this de development store. So push create app and let's call it, um, uh, let's call it app. app. Use Rabbit word once more, once again. Create app, Rabbit app. 
All right, then we want to configure the scopes of this app. So we want to be able to um, read customers and write customers. We want to, let's just pick read and write discounts, uh, read, write, draft orders. Let's see here, read, no, we don't need inventory, we need read and write orders. Let's just pick price rules as well. Read, write products. Reports. I think that's it for now. You can always change this or create a new app. So just push save. And this is giving us access to do what we just selected. Let's go to overview. And then we're going to install this application on Rabbit Testing. All right, so now we have this app with the, um, with the token. And we're going to use this token. Um, so I'm going to take this token and I'm going to copy it into a Jupyter Notebook. All right, so we have set up a, a Shopify developer account. We've set up a development store. We've created a custom app. Um, now we just need to install the Shopify Python API, um, given that you're, you're working with Python. Um, I'm working in Python and, and I strongly encourage you to do so as well. Um, and uh, there's a link here to the GitHub um, page of the Shopify API. It's very well documented. So you simply have to, to run uh, this command pip install upgrade Shopify API, and then you, you will get the, the um, API installed. So basically this command, and you can run it from your notebook or you can run it from, from the terminal, doesn't really matter. But one, I, I'm not going to run it right now because I already have the API installed. But once you have that, you can import uh, Shopify. I've created an additional file, a Python file called, called Kretz with the token. So I'm just going to pull the token from the credentials file. Then we're going to need the name of the test of the development store we set up. That was rapid testing. That's our merchant. And the API session is just going to be a function of, of the merchant, the API version, and the access token. And then we can activate the first line here activates the, let me just remove this, activates the Shopify API. And then we can, uh, for example, call uh, get all the products. So let's just go to the development store and see uh, what we have here. So our products in rapid testing. That's what was populated by simple sample data. So we got, we got an Adidas backpack, we got some sneakers and so on. And when we query the API, we get this list of products and this first one and see what the title is. That's the backpack. What about number two? So we're getting the products out of the, the API. So, and that's the first step to, to start working with this. In the next video, we're going to be extracting custom and order data from the API. And we're going to use that data to solve one of the most pressing problems for e-commerce merchants, which is predicting customer lifetime value. So if you think this is something you want to learn, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.